Hey everybody, welcome to Intentionally Fit, and this is the five day crock pot challenge. So, I am going to talk a little bit about crock pots. Um, I have two, and this is my main one. It's just a small one. I think it's about four quarts is I think what it actually really holds. So most of the recipes that you have in the list will actually fit in this crock pot. It fits about four to six boneless chicken breasts without a lot of fuss or um, added stuff. The turkey chili fits right all the way up to the brim in here when I put everything in it. Um, just so you know kind of the capacity. Now, when you use a split chicken breast, they don't split in here very well. They kind of pile on top of each other. What I found with that is it's best to kind of put the big fat part in first and the, the pointy end kind of sticking up and then try to cover it as much as I can. Um, it just doesn't, they don't lay well. But you can still use them. They only fit about four of them in here. When they have the bones in them, they just, it just kind of doesn't fit correctly. So because of that, the one I have that I use when I use boned chicken, the split chicken breast with the rib meat, is this great big crock pot. Okay, <sighs> my big crock pot. Okay, this is about eight, uh, eight quarts. And because of the shape, see how it's an oval instead of the big circle? I can lay the chicken breast down kind of like this. Like I lay them one on top of the other and I put the fat part down and the, and the bone part sticking up. And then I just layer them kind of like dominoes across the bottom of the crock pot. And then dump whatever I want on top. The thing that I want you to know, in all of the recipes except for the chili and the bonus recipe that I give you, I take my olive oil and I just take it, I go whoop, around the edges of the crock pot. It's not dumped on top of the, um, the chicken, but I do it right around the rim of the crock pot so it actually coats the outside and it just kind of helps keep moisture in the air in this section and then um, it kind of helps you keep from not having to scrub as hard to clean it out. Now you can buy liners which I think just fills a landfill and I don't really want to do that so put in a little extra olive oil in there. Um, does not destroy your meal plan and it should work just fine. You will still have to use a little bit of elbow, elbow grease, but you know, it'll help those triceps. So, um, and then make sure you have a lid. So, obviously, I have great big lids for that one and a small one for that. Now, when I cook things in my smaller crock pot, it tends to cook hotter than my big crock pot. And I only know this because I've been cooking with it for like, I don't know, 17 years. <laughs> yeah, actually that crock pot I've had for like 17 years. That's it. Okay, it just showing. You just have to get over it. So, with that one, I know it cooks hotter. And so I use a um, the lower setting. For most of the recipes in there, the, if you use four to six chicken breasts, especially boneless, you will get probably four hours to six hours if you do it on low. If you need it to be faster than that, then you need to bump it up to high, but it should be probably three to four hours and check it. Um, because when you throw your crock pot on high, a lot of times, if it's chicken, it gets dry really fast. So try to give it a little bit longer and be able to do it on low. That's just what I've learned in this, on this crock pot. Now, this big crock pot, it doesn't cook as hot. So it takes longer. Plus, you know, I have the boned ones in there. And typically, I have double the batch. So they take a lot longer. So that's going to be six to eight hours. The... Um, the beef roast carnitas uh, recipe is probably closer to six to eight hours. Um, so just to to let you know, that's kind of funny. You will um, you'll need to figure out your crock pot. I have found that crock pots are kind of like um, sewing machines. They're fickle, and they choose how they want to behave. And so. Um, 
if you don't actually have a dial that gives you the temperature reading and it just says low or high or medium or keep warm, then you're going to have to do this a couple times. Please don't get discouraged if your chicken comes out dry the first couple times. You'll get it. I promise you just have to keep at it, okay? Um, it's taken a little time to figure out what works for my crock pots, and you'll have to take a little bit of time to work with yours. So don't get discouraged and you say, oh, this is just really horrible. Just give it some time. A lot of times that you just need to figure out how your crock pot cooks and how high and low it is. And I know that sounds really kind of vague, and it really is. Cooking with a crock pot is kind of vague. So the good thing about that is there's lots of room for variations and a lot of room for, um, for grace. <laughs> so you can add something in there. You can add uh, moisture in there. Clue. And very important, just like in your oven, if you're using a glass dish, do not add cold anything to your hot crock pot. It will crack it. If you need to add anything to it later after it's already warm, make sure it's at least room temperature, okay? Um, you don't want to crack your crock. There you go. You don't want to crack your crock. That's your lesson for today. <laughs> so that's, I just wanted to give you kind of an update on what crock pots are like and I will start adding um, videos on recipes soon. So pick out your crock pot and know what you can fit in each one. So, or one. Not everybody has a, a bunch of crock pots. We're, all, we're not all crazy. So I will talk to you later.